Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to assemble this 50 amp, I'm sorry, 50 watts dual channel uh, audio amplifier made by a company or brand named Damn Goo. I know that's a pretty strange name. Um, I bought it from Amazon for $18.95. So it comes in the board like this it came disassembled I did not know it came disassembled so it's kind of a surprise uh, but basically it's a Bluetooth amplifier that also has an auxiliary input here and it has a, poten a potentiometer uh, to control the volume here and it supports two channel so left right left right and the uh, the input voltage supports 5 volt to 27 volt uh, you should always try to use as much voltage as possible so that you have the most amount of voltage so therefore you can absorb uh, high current or power high current that is all right so i am going to remove from the bags all the components so we can see what's going on here so we have a lot of screws show you all the screws that we have there you go we have all the screws we have this nice uh, looks like this is probably something that's supposed to go to the board like this or to the bottom of it no it needs to go to the top of it yeah like that and this should go probably towards the bottom and then we have some standoff we have these brass standoff um, and then we have this uh, power cable pigtail that plugs in here and um, yeah, so let's uh, let's see how we assemble this thing. Okay, so I peeled off these uh, paper coating out of this uh, uh, fiberglass uh, bottom, and uh, this is pretty easy to dis uh, to assemble actually. So what I figured is that you just line up this particular um, hole right here. So this, uh, these holes right here line up to those there and then that hole here lines up to here just like that and then um, I figured that it uh, you probably just put on these uh, standoff and then um, tighten it with the screwdriver from this side. So, just put in the screws, put the stand up on this side, and tighten.
I almost forgot before we close this top cover here we have a heat sink here that uh, we should put on and according to the picture here the heat sink goes on this chip here well let me see yeah still the same it goes on that that big chip here in the middle so just peel it off and try to center it in the middle as much as possible and just press down like that and that's it so we're ready to now close it Okay, now we're going to put on the uh, volume knob. Usually, um, the way that this is done is that, um, let's say you're putting this inside a hole. Um, you would put this inside the hole, and actually you would probably put this washer first behind it, and then you put it through the hole, and then you would put this washer so that you are going to squeeze or sandwich the uh, whatever that hole is in the middle and then you put in the volume knob so turn it all the way to the left oh actually there's a switch there I don't know if you can hear it so by putting all the way to the left it actually turns it off and what we're gonna do here is just Put the volume indicator all the way to the left bottom and then so that when you turn it on you can turn it all the way down and turn it off actually i like it to be maybe one more notch down there that's good right there so turn it on all the way here and turn it off okay perfect Well, that's it guys. Uh, this is the uh, Damgu Bluetooth amplifier uh, assembled and um, I'm going to make another video demonstrating how it is used um, and we can listen to um, the audio that it makes, how it amplifies and how good it sounds. Thank you for watching. If you find this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel. Thank you.